magsiluhod ang lahat. Panalangin para sa pambansa at panglokal na halalan. Manalangin tayo upang sa papalapit na pambansa at panglokal na halalan ay tunay na maghari ang kalooban ng Diyos na siyang gumagabay sa lahat ng bansa. Sama-sama nating idalangin, iligtas mo kami, Panginoon. Iligtas mo kami, Panginoon. Mula sa pamimilit, pananakot, karahasan at terorismo. Iligtas mo kami, Panginoon. Mula sa panloloko, pagsisinungaling at pagbaluktot sa katotohanan. Iligtas mo kami, Panginoon. Mula sa panunuhol, kasakiman at sabuatan upang makapandaya. Iligtas mo kami, Panginoon. Mula sa kawalang muwang sa panlilinlang at makitid na pananaw. Iligtas mo kami, Panginoon. Mula sa pagbabanta, pananakot at lapastangang pananalita. Iligtas mo kami, Panginoon. Sama-sama nating idalangin, dinggin mo kami, Panginoon. Dinggin mo kami, Panginoon. Upang ang aming budhi ang siyang gawing tunay na pamantayan. Dinggin mo kami, Panginoon. Upang ang kabutihan ng nakararami ang aming pinakamataas na layunin. Dinggin mo kami, Panginoon. Upang ang dignidad ng tao ay palagi ang igalang. Dinggin mo kami, Panginoon. Upang ang kapuspalad at mahihina ay pagukulan ng higit na pansin. Dinggin mo kami, Panginoon. Upang ang pangangalaga sa kalikasan ay hindi ipagwalang bahala. Dinggin mo kami, Panginoon. Upang ang pagkakaisa ay magbigay daan sa landas ng kapayapaan at kaunlaran. Dinggin mo kami, Panginoon. Upang ang banal na pagkatakot sa Diyos at pag-ibig sa kapwa ang maging gabay ng mga nagnanais manungkulan sa pamahalaan. Dinggin mo kami, Panginoon. Manalangin tayo. Pastol ng aming kaluluwa at tagapagligtas ng sanlibutan, ang politika ay iyong kaloob sa amin. Isang paanyaya upang maglingkod sa iba at lumago sa kabanalan. Gabayan mo ang politika sa aming bansa, katulad ng paggabay mo sa amin. Nawa ang aming politikal na pakikilahok para sa mga botante at kandidato ay magdulot ng kaluwalhatian sa iyong mahal na ngalan at matulungan din kaming yumabong sa kabutihan, ngayon at magpasawalang hanggan. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, this first Saturday of the month of May, we are accompanied by Our Lady in celebrating the resurrection of Her Son, Jesus. May Our Lady, a woman of faith, help us also to become men and women of faith. And so to prepare ourselves to celebrate this Holy Eucharist, let us first acknowledge our sins and humbly ask the Lord for His pardon and strength. Lord Jesus, you raise us to new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive us our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who have been pleased to gladden the world by the resurrection of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, Grant, we pray, that through his mother, the Virgin Mary, 
we may receive the joys of everlasting life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. Our reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The church throughout all Judea, Galilee, and Samaria was at peace. She was being built up and walked in the fear of the Lord. And with the consolation of the Holy Spirit, she grew in numbers. As Peter was passing through every region, he went down to the Holy Ones living in Lydda. There he found a man named Aeneas, who had been confined to bed for eight years. He was paralyzed. Peter said to him, Aeneas, Jesus Christ heals you. Get up and make your bed. He got up at once. All the inhabitants of Lydda and Sharon saw him, and they turned to the Lord. Now in Joppa, there was a disciple named Tabitha, which translated is Dacras. She was completely occupied with good deeds and almsgiving. Now during those days, she fell sick and died. So after washing her, they laid her out in a room upstairs. Since Lida was near Joppa, the disciples hearing that Peter was there sent two men to him with a direct request. Please come to us without delay. So Peter got up and went with them. When he arrived, they took him to the room upstairs where all the widows came to him, weeping and showing him the tonics and cloaks that Dorcas had made while she was with them. Peter sent them all out and knelt down and prayed. Then he turned to her body and said, Tabitha, rise up. She opened her eyes, saw Peter, and sat up. He gave her his hand and raised her up. And when he called the holy ones and the widows, he presented her alive. This became known all over Joppa, and many came to believe in the Lord. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. How shall I make a return to the Lord for all the good he has done for me? How shall I make a return to the Lord for all the good he has done for me? How shall I make a return to the Lord for all the good he has done for me? The cup of salvation I will take up and I will call up the name of the Lord. How shall I make a return to the Lord for all the good he has done for me. My vows to the Lord I will pay in the presence of all his people. Precious in the eyes of the Lord is the death of his faithful ones. How shall I make a return to the Lord for all the good he has done for me? O Lord, I am your servant. I am your servant, the son of your handmaid. You have loosed my bands. To you will I offer sacrifice of thanksgiving, and I will call upon the name of the Lord. How shall I make a return to the Lord for all the good he has done for me? Please all stand. Hallelujah. 
Your words, Lord, are spirit and life. You have the words of everlasting life. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Many of the disciples of Jesus who were listening said, This saying is hard. Who can accept it? Since Jesus knew that his disciples were murmuring about this, he said to them, Does this shock you? What if you were to see the Son of Man ascending to where he was before? It is the Spirit that gives life, while the flesh is of no avail. The words I have spoken to you are spirit and life. But there are some of you who do not believe. Jesus knew from the beginning the ones who would not believe and the one who would betray him. And he said, For this reason I have told you that no one can come to me unless it is granted him by my Father. As a result of this, many of his disciples returned to their former way of life and no longer walked with him. Jesus then said to the twelve, Do you also want to leave? Simon Peter answered him, Master, to whom shall we go? You have the words of eternal life. We have come to believe and are convinced that you are the Holy One of God. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Good morning, dear brothers and sisters. And I would like to welcome uh, all of you to the Manila Cathedral, especially for those who are doing their pilgrimage and visiting Our Lady in this Cathedral Basilica. We saw in our gospel reading today the disciples who find it difficult to accept the word of God. Nahihirapan silang tanggapin ang salita ng Diyos. But there are two kinds of disciples. One are those disciples who find it difficult to accept God's word and leave. They left Jesus. But there are the other disciples who also find it difficult to accept the word of God and yet they believed. My dear brothers and sisters, the faithful disciples of Jesus are the ones who believe even if they find it difficult to accept. Ang mga tunay na alagad ni Jesus ay ang mga taong kahit minsan mahirap tanggapin ang salita ng Diyos pero naniwala pa rin sila. Minsan po mayroon tayong online mass goer. Sila po'y mga kaibigan ko na ngayon at nakilala ko na sila. Sabi nila, Father, sometimes it is really difficult to accept the Word of God. Minsan nga, sabi niya, 
kapag nanonood kami ng online mass mo, nagkakalabitan kaming mag, magpapamilya kasi tinatamaan na kami sa sinasabi mo. No? Sabi nila, Father, dahan-dahan naman. No? Tinatamaan na kami. At parang masakit yata pag tinamaan ka sa homily. <laughs> Minsan masakit kapag ikaw yung tinamaan ng salita ng Diyos. Sabi ko sa kanya, believe me, it is also difficult for me sometimes to preach the truth. If only I can tame down the Word of God. But the Word of God is the Word of God. Even if it is difficult to accept, we must believe God's Word. That is a disciple of Jesus. That is why in our first reading today, we see the community of disciples. These are the disciples who believed even if it was difficult to accept. We see in our first reading today two instances of healing. One, Peter healed Aeneas, a man who was paralyzed confined to bed for eight years. Many people saw it difficult, a difficult situation to accept. But Peter, even if it was a difficult situation, believed in God's Word, and therefore he was able to heal Aeneas. Peter also encountered Tabitha or Dorcas. She was also a member of the Christian community, but she fell sick and died. And people will find it difficult to accept that Dorcas, Tabitha, died. But even if it was a difficult situation to accept, Peter believed, and therefore he was able to raise up Tabitha from her death. Mga minamahal na kapatid, sana po sa misang ito, ito ang matutunan natin na sa gitna ng paghihirap, sa gitna ng sitwasyon na parang mahirap tanggapin, diyan sana lalo ipahayag natin ang paniniwala at pananalig natin. If you are in a difficult situation, a situation that is difficult to accept, then all the more you need to believe. Let us ask Mary, our mother. She, a simple woman who was tasked by our Lord, given by a mission. At first, she also said, Your word may be difficult to believe, may be difficult to accept, but I will believe. Lord, in situations, in your words that we sometimes find difficult to accept, help us to believe more. Amen. Please stand. Christ brings us the words of eternal life, and we believe. With that faith, we can confidently beseech our Father in heaven to hear the prayers of this community. For every petition, let us say, Father, keep us faithful to your Son. Father, keep us faithful to your Son, that the leaders of the Church may follow the Lord with all their heart, mind, and strength. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father keep, keep us faithful, faithful to, to your Son. Son 
that the leaders of troubled nations may work tirelessly to bring peace and justice to their countries. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, keep, keep us faithful, faithful to, to your Son, that we may realize that God gives us the greatest proof of His love in the abiding presence of the Blessed Sacrament. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, keep us faithful to your Son. Let us pray that we may have a peaceful, honest, and credible elections, and that we may elect leaders who would uphold the values we hold dear as Christians and Filipinos, faith in God, truthfulness, integrity, decency, and concern for the common good. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, keep us faithful to your Son, that the sick and those suffering from lingering illness may find inner peace in assuring words of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, keep us faithful to your Son, that the dead may experience the everlasting peace of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, keep us faithful to your Son. Father, your Son has the words of life. We have nowhere to go but to Him. Our prayers are offered in His name, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive, Holy Father, this offering of our humility, which we bring you with joy as we commemorate the Blessed Virgin Mary, and grant, we pray, that it may be for us, who are joined to the sacrifice of Christ, our consolation on earth, and our eternal salvation, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time above all, to laud you yet more gloriously, when Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed. 
He never ceases to offer Himself for us, but defends us and ever pleads our cause before You. He is the sacrificial victim who dies no more, the Lamb once slain who lives forever. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. 
welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in, in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the Supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and, and my soul shall be healed. Brothers and sisters, the body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, Come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Please stand. Let us pray. Renewed by this Paschal Sacrament, we pray, O Lord, that we who honor the memory of the mother of your Son may show forth in our mortal flesh the life of Jesus, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Yesterday, the President of the Catholic Bishops' Conference of the Philippines, Bishop Ambo David of Caloocan, has called for days of intense prayer starting today until the day of elections this coming Monday. Let us join our bishops all over the country in these days of intense prayer. In these times of prayer, let us also have a conversation with Jesus. Talk to Jesus about the candidate whom you will vote and ask Jesus if that is the candidate He wants for our country. Sana po ay sundin natin at samahan ang ating mga obispo. Bago po tayo bumoto, magdasal muna. Dasal hindi lamang po ng salita, kundi dasal na pakikipag-usap kay Jesus. Tanungin po ninyo si Jesus, yung akin bang iboboto ay ayon sa kabutihan mo, sumusunod sa turo at aral mo. Yan po sana ang laman ng ating mga panalangin. Let our prayers be for the country so that we may choose good, competent, honest leaders. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless all of you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Regina gently, lay thy hand, Alleluia.